Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time to assemble these snack packs for patrons for the month of February 2019. So looking forward to this. And I have the pack blessers here, Nissa and Garuk. For no particular reason. There may be some surprises today. There may not be. We shall see. So let's move them aside. They won't be needed just yet. Or maybe at all. Not sure about that. Alright, so the first patron up. We have Kim R. So she is at the $6 tier. And for a limited time we're doing the extra foil. So she'll get a pack opened sometime in the next week or two. And let's take a look at her bonus foil. It is a reviving dose. So very nice. Instant for three. You gain three life. Draw a card. Pretty cool foiling on that one. So thank you for being a patron, Kim. Much appreciated. Alright, and the newest patron here we have is MTG Things. So he gets the signed MTG Unpack Jackalope Herd card here for his first month as a patron. So good luck, sir. Now we will assemble the snack pack. So the way I've been doing these, we'll have five commons here. So let's grab those. One, two, three... Four and five. All right, and then the uncommons will get five of those. Let's see, that's four and one more. And this time around, I'm planning to speed all this up. So for the next set of snap packs, you'll see things move a bit quicker. But just to give you an example of how this is done. So then we have the foil and one rare here. Or mythic, as the case may be. And a second one. All right. Good luck, sir. MTG things. Let's see what we can pull for you today. So we start off with, and these guys are going to wreck the focus, there we go, Cathodian, Mana Skeleton, oh, here we go already, extra rare, okay, so that's the first of the wild cards, so pop that over there, let's grab an extra rare here. Carefully sneak that in. Okay, so the wild cards are a thing again. Next up we have Sky Spear Cavalry, One-Eyed Scarecrow. And for the uncommons we have Angler Drake. Serene Steward Switcheroo. And a Grollub. This is pretty cool. Nice old card from Exodus. Novice Knight. And your foil is a Curator of Mysteries Rare. Creature Sphinx 4-4 four, four, for 4 mana with flying. Whenever you cycle or discard another card, scry one. And it's cycling for a single island. Alright, and your rare is Beast Whisperer. This is a Creature Elf Druid 2-3 for 4 mana. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Pretty cool artwork on that one. And Helm of the Host, legendary artifact equipment for four at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a token that's copy of equipped creature, except the token isn't legendary. If equipped creature is legendary, that token gains haste and equipped cost is five. And your third rare is a mythic. Yes, it's a Varix Bladewing, legendary creature dragon, four, four, for four mana with kicker three. So you may pay an additional three as you cast this spell, has flying. And when it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, create Karox Bladewing, a legendary 4-4 red dragon creature token with flying. Alright, so some fantastic pulls there today for MTG things on the first month as a patron. So thank you very much for being a patron. And moving on here, we have Michael Shoop. Let's see what we can pull for you today. And you know the drill, everybody.
All right, Michael, let's see what we can get for you today. Thank you for being a patron. We start off with Ladev Guardian. Moon of the Unhallowed. That's pretty cool artwork. Krenko's Enforcer, Creature Goblin Warrior, 2-2 two, two for 3 mana. Love the goblins. And another one. Goblin Rough Rider, Creature Goblin Knight. And I should have said Goblin Rough Rider. How about that? There we go. 3-2 three, for 3 mana. Elvish Rejuvenator. And I really hope there aren't that many goblins here because my voice can't take it. Oh, you get an extra rare here. So this is an Avarice Amulet. Artifact Equipment for 4. A quick creature gets plus 2, plus 2, 0 and has Vigilance. And at the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card. And when a quick creature dies, target opponent gains control of Avarice Amulet. A quick cost is 2. And I sometimes chuck those into the uncommon slot if they're worth less than a dollar. And that's another thing. Um, I've been try still trying to do this. The rares and mythics at least a dollar in value each so hopefully give you a little bit extra value each month next we have sky marcher aspirant appetite for brains and an extra rare the wild cards are getting chewed up real early on today okay we'll put that over here grab your extra rare sir and flip that around Okay, Nightfire Giant. And you also get a Curator of Mysteries, Rare Foil. Very nice. And a Hornet Queen, Creature Insect 224, 7 mana with flying and death touch. When it enters the battlefield, put 4 1 1 green insect creature tokens with flying and death touch onto the battlefield. Craziness. Pattern of Rebirth. So this is Enchantment Aura for 4 Enchant Creature. When Enchanted Creature dies, that creature's controller may search a library for a creature card. Put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle their library. And your third rare is a Drowned Catacomb. It's a land, enters the battlefield tapped unless you control an island or a swamp. And you can obviously tap it for islands or swamps. Very cool. So thanks again, Michael, for being a patron. Much appreciated. And moving on, we have another Michael. This is Michael A. Bargo, the second. All right, so let's see what we can get you today. All right, so let's do a quick count here. Just make sure I haven't messed up. So one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. Four, five, that, and that. Okay, so I did get it okay. All right, let's continue here. We start off with a Yevamaya Sap Herd. Creature Fungus. There we go. Holy moly. Extra rare. We're getting all the wild cards. Okay, so... You know what that means, you know the drill. Grab the next rare. Next we have Divination. Necromancer's Assistant. Creature Zombie. Nightbird's Clutches. Oh, here's a cool one. Uncommons we have Cursed Flesh from Exodus. Culling the Weak, another one from Exodus. You might have noticed I restocked some older cards here. Venerated Loxodon, so here's an extra rare for you, sir. Creature Elephant Cleric, 4-4 four, four for 5 mana with Convoke. And when it enters the battlefield, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on each creature that convoked it. It's pretty cool. Endless Obedience. Firewing Phoenix. Immobilizer Eldrazi is the foil. Pretty cool. Who is a fan of the Eldrazi? Leave a note in the comments. And <laughs> you are doing rather well today, Michael. Leovold, Emissary of Trest, Legendary Creature Elf Advisor, Mythic. 3-3 three, three for 3 mana. Each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. And whenever you or opponent you control becomes a target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, you may draw a card. 
Excellent pull there. And another mythic. Holy moly. Demon Lord, Bells and Lock, Legendary Creature, Elder, Elder Demon 6646, six, Mana with Flying and Trample. When it enters the battlefield, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non land card. Then put that card into your hand if the cards converted mana cost is four or greater. Repeat this process. And Demon Lord, Bells and Lock deals one damage to you for each card put into your hand this way. Nastiness. And your final rare here is a Crested Sunmare. Creature horse, actually, that's another mythic. You've got three mythics, holy moly. Creature horse, five, five for five mana. Other horses you control have indestructible at the beginning of each end step. If you gained life this turn, create a five, five white horse creature token. All right, so some fantastic pulls there for Michael A. Bargo the second. Thank you, sir, for being a patron. Moving right along, we have MTG Hermit. All right. All right, so let's see what we can get you today. We start off with a squirming mass and if i'm not mistaken that's one of the urza's block cards pretty cool artwork there unexplained disappearance uncomfortable chill resurrection revitalize and the uncommons we have into the void Oh, this is new. Okay, so you, sir, get a standard pack. So we'll put that aside and let me grab the standard pack here. Ravnica Allegiance. All right, uncommons we have Morkrut Necropod, Slug Horror, Grave Strength. And you get another rare here, Four Bears Blade, Artifact Equipment for three. Equipped creature gets plus three, plus your own, has Vigilance and Trample. And whenever equipped creature dies, attach Four Bears Blade to target creature you control, equip three. And a nice foil island. And a Steel Leaf Champion, creature Elf Knight, five, four for three mana. Can't be blocked by creatures with power, two or less. That's a nice one. And Sanctum Seeker, creature vampire knight, 3-4 four for 4 mana, whenever a vampire you control attacks each opponent, loses one life, and you gain one life. Alright, so let's put those aside, and we will do the pack blessing here, we will have both Garuk and Nissa do the pack blessing, and if you're not familiar with that, that is how we get the extra value on this channel. So, good luck MTG Hermit, you will get the rares, mythics, foils out of this one and anything over a buck. So we start off here with Prowling Caracal, Shimmer of Possibility, Sylvan Brush Strider, Axbane Beast, Wrecking Beast, we're getting all the beasts today, Scuttle Gator, Crab Turtle Crocodile, Applied Biomancy, Gateway Plaza, Debtor's Transport, Simic Locket, and the first of the uncommons here, we have Depose and Deploy. Swirling Torrent. Syndicate Guild Mage. And the rare is a Pestilent Spirit. Creature Spirit, 3-2 three, for 3 mana with Menace and Death Touch. Instant and Sorcery Spells you control have Death Touch. Fantastic artwork on that one. Set that aside, and a Simic Guildgate, and a Sphinx token. Okay, so let's get these cards out of the way, and I'll do a double check during editing if any of those others are worth over a buck. But meanwhile, let's put this in here. Thank you for being a patron, MTG Hermit. All right, next up we have Jeremy Worden. Be sure to give him a round of clowns in the chat or the comments. I think he... Would appreciate that greatly. All right, Jeremy, let's see what we can get for you today. Thank you for being a patron, sir. We have ooh, some cool artwork here. Chime of Night. Very nice. Thornhide Wolves. 
Wild Elephant from Mirage. Ravenous Rats! Yes, we've got the Ravenous Rats. Creature Rat 1-1. One, one. For two mana, when Ravenous Rats comes into play, target opponent chooses and discards a card from his or her hand. Alrighty. Kadama's Reach. And an extra rare here. You get a Goblin Kaboomist creature. Goblin Warrior. One, two for two mana. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a colour side effect token named Landmine onto the battlefield with Mountain Sacrifice this side effect. It deals two damage to target attacking creature without flying. Then flip a coin. If you lose the flip, Goblin Kaboomist steals two damage to itself. That is hilarious. All right. Blazing Hope. Fecundity. Dawn Charm. Heat Ray, and your foil is a Bogget Brute Creature Goblin Warrior! 3 2 for 3 mana with Menace. Pretty cool. Ah, there's a nice pull. And a Chromatic Lantern is the first of your rares. Artifact for 3. Lands you control have tap add 1 mana of any color, and you can tap it for adding 1 mana of any color. And a Mythic! Thousand Year Storm, enchantment for six. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it for each other instant and sorcery spell you've cast before it this turn. You may choose new targets for the copies. Alrighty, so thank you again, Jeremy, for being a patron. Much appreciated. Next up, we have Eric Palenko. Good luck, sir. Alrighty, let's go for Eric. We start off with a Marauder's Axe. Patchwork Gnomes. Nurok Invisimancer. Blessed Light. Induced Despair. And some more Exodus here. Cunning. Scare Tactics. Carnifage. Okay, so you're getting all the uh, Exodus cards, apparently. A Danto Vanguard. Epiphany at the Drown Yard. Okay, so this is an extra rare instant for X and an island. Reveal the top X plus one cards of your library and separate them into two piles. An opponent chooses one of those piles. Put that pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. And a foil in Bolus's Clutches. Pretty nice. Ho 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 ho! The big hitter! Khan Sign of Urza Mythic! Congratulations, Eric! There are other Planeswalkers in here, but this is probably the spiciest pull here. So he has a loyalty cost of 5. Pay 4 to cast him. Plus 1 reveal the top 2 cards of your library. An opponent chooses one of them. Put that card into your hand and it so the other with a silver counter on it. So minus one is put a card you own with a silver counter on it from XL into your hand and minus two create a zero zero colors construct artifact creature token with this creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact you control. Fantastic pull there, sir. And your second rare or mythic is a remorseful cleric. Creature spirit cleric two one for two mana. I nearly said split it, slell it. That's a bit of a mouthful. Flying and Sacker XL all cards from Target Player's Graveyard. Alrighty, so thank you Eric for being a patron. I hope you enjoy your Khan there. Alrighty. Next we have Martin. Just Martin. Alright, let's see what we can get you today, sir. Alright, Martin. Good luck. We start off with a Grave Scrabbler. Creature Zombie. 2-2 two, two for 4 mana. Very creepy. Phyresis. Opaline Unicorn. Infernal Scarring. Just the Wind. And the uncommons we have Mirror Image. Lay Claim, Mystic Retrieval, Manticore Eternal, and yeah, that's uh, uncommon. Staff of the Mind Magus, and a nice foil planes from M19. 
And your first rare, oh, it's a mythic, Jaya Ballad. All right, another Planeswalker. Her loyalty cost is five, legendary Planeswalker Jaya for five mana plus one, add three mountains. Spend this mana only to cast instant or sorcery spells, plus one, discard up to three cards and draw that many cards. And her minus eight is you get an emblem with, you may cast instant and sorcery cards from your graveyard. If a card cast this way would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. Very cool, and your second rare or mythic is a Hornet Nest. Creature Insect 0-2 for 3 mana with Defender. Whenever the Hornet Nest is dealt damage, put that many 1-1 one, one green insect creature tokens with Flying and Death Touch onto the battlefield. Alrighty, so very good there. Nice pulls today, Martin. Thank you for being a patron. And next up we have Sebastian Blackwell. Good luck, sir. Alrighty, Sebastian, let's see what we can pull for you today. From the snack pack, we have Revoke Existence, Spark Tongue Dragon, Gearsmith Prodigy, Vessel of Endless Rest, Aradara Express. And for the uncommons, we have Wall of Limbs, Zombie Wall, Spawning Bed, Shriekmore, Forsaken Sanctuary, Honored Crop Captain, and a nice foil promo, Grand Warlord Radha, Rare, Legendary Creature, Elf Warrior 3, 4, for 4 mana with Haste. Whenever one or more creatures you control attack, add that much mana in any combination of mountains and or forests until end of turn. You don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Some cool foiling on that one. And your rare is a Goblin Chain Whirler, Creature Goblin Warrior. 3-3 three, three for 3 mountains. First strike and when it enters the battlefield it does 1 damage to each opponent and each creature and planeswalker they control. Particular favourite of mine that one. And a Path of Discovery, an enchantment for four. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it explores. Alrighty, so thank you, Sebastian, for being a patron. And let's see who's up next. Um, I think we have three more patrons, if I'm not mistaken. We have Lou Jukes. Let's see what we can get you today, Lou. Alright, good luck Lou, thanks for being a patron, we have a Vampire Neonate, Wickerbo Elder, Kiln Fiend, Spider Umbra, Ghostly Possession, and Uncommons we have Silent Dart, Saving Grace, Boon Weaver Giant, Dead Eye Brawler, Lord of the Accursed, and your foil is a Lava Step Raider, Creature Goblin Warrior, 1 2 for a single mountain, and a Mythic Angel of Sanctions, Creature Angel 3 4 for 5 mana. With flying when it enters the battlefield, you may exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls until Angel of Sanctions leaves the battlefield, has Embalm for five in the planes, so you can exile this card from your graveyard and create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a white zombie angel with no mana cost. Embalm only as a sorcery. And another mythic! Yes, Dream Eater! Look at this dude. Creepy creature, Nightmare Sphinx 4, 3, 4, 6 mana with flash and flying. And when it enters battlefield, surveil 4. When you do, you may return target non land permanent and permanent controls to its owner's hand. Alrighty, so some nice pulls there for you today, Lou. Thanks again for being a patron. We'll tuck these cards in there. And incidentally, a lot of these patrons, I still need to do the pack openings. So you'll see those in the coming week or so. Next up, we have Jack of All Trades. Good luck, sir.
All right, Jack of all trades, let's see what we can get you today. And thanks for being a patron. We have just the wind. Plummet. Conviction. Corpse lunge. That is quite terrifying. Dwarven priest. And for the uncommons, we have heroic reinforcements. Sleep. Forbidden Alchemy, Reclaim, and for a second there I thought that was a Jackalope Herd card because it's got the same border there. Geist Catcher's Rig, that's pretty cool. Baird Steward of Argive, Promo is your foil. Very cool. And the rare is a mythic Aurelia Exemplar of Justice Legendary Creature Angel 2-5 for 4 mana with flying and mentor. So whenever this creature attacks, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, choose up to one target creature you control until end of turn. That creature gets plus 2 plus 0, gains trample if it's red and gains vigilance if it's white. Alrighty, and another mythic! Holy moly, I really stuck those in there this month. We get Moldrotha the Gravetide, legendary creature, elemental, avatar, 6-6-4, six, 6-mana. Six, six During each of your turns, you may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. Pretty cool. If a card has multiple permanent types, choose one as you play it. Alright, thank you Jack of All Trades once again for being a patron. We'll pop that in there, and finally we have Bozza from Down Under, so as you can see his packs were already opened. So we will be supplementing those with the snack pack for him today. Alright Bozza, let's see what we can pull for you today. We start off with... Skeletonize, and I think that would be a fantastic foil. Warlord's Fury. Charge! Hyena Umbra. Ambush Viper. And a random mythic just chucked in here. Naru Meha, Master Wizard, Legendary Creature, Human Wizard, 3 3 for 4 mana with flash. And when Naru Meha must wizard enters battlefield, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control, you may choose new targets for the copy and other wizards you control get plus one plus one. Heap doll. Artifact creature scarecrow, that is creepy. Dauntless bodyguard. Wall of limbs. Crawl swarm. Invisible Stalker, and that is your foil actually, so there we go, pretty cool, and the rare is a Tajuru Preserver, Creature Elf Shaman 2-1 for 2 mana, spells and abilities your opponents control can't cause you to sacrifice permanents. I bet that one would come in handy in EDH, and a Shalai Voice of Plenty. Legendary Creature Angel 3-4 four, for 4 mana with flying you, Planeswalkers you control, and other creatures you control have Hexproof. Pretty cool. 4 and 2 forest per day, plus 1, plus 1 cannot on each creature you control. Alright, so that is it there for Bozza. So it looks like you're all set here. Your cards will go out in the next mailing. Thanks for being a patron, sir. And that is it for today. We have another snap pack construction episode tomorrow so stay tuned for that we'll be going through the rest of the patrons so if your pack was not put together today never fear it's probably in tomorrow's video and if you too would like to get in on the pack cracking action like all the patrons here i'll leave a link in the description of this video for the mtg unpack patreon so check that out if you're so inclined and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.